Molly takes Mackenzie's call and she apologizes, trying to build a bridge. Molly remains heated as he points out that Mac is kicking him out for a guy who has promised her nothing. When Felicity presses him for details, he holds his tongue. Even though he's at odds with Mackenzie, he's determined to keep her confidence. Levi is caught up about what Molly said to him. He doesn't want to be thought of as s guy with a string of women across the country. Mackenzie tries to temper him and she begs him to stay, knowing their time together is sparse. Finally, Mac seizes the courage to ask him where he sees this going. They want each other, but they can't ignore the fact that he's married. Before he can reassure her though, a curious Felicity arrives, shocked to see Levi and suddenly concerned Mackenzie's doctor has been called in an emergency. Although the secret lovers manage to cover, Felicity mentions her run-in with Levi to Eden. After they catch up on the phone, Eden confides in Cash, she thinks Levi is lying to her. Meanwhile, John can't quite believe that Rue has dropped the investigation into the anonymous donor, and he wants to know the truth. Harangued by John as they're walking home, Marilyn queries Rue, why doesn't she just tell him that Cash did find out who gave the money? The next day, Rue finally clues him in on the truth. But John can't accept it, why would Cash walk away without finishing the job? Rue can't help but agree that it's very odd behavior. Will she reopen the case?